It's a, a total conundrum to me why audiophiles do not take my channel more seriously. We do serious things on this channel. And one of those serious things is going from pound to pound world champion to the next pound for pound world champion. Do you remember? Do you remember back in the day? Oh, it was so long ago. This was pound for pound world champion. Everybody loved it and oh look at it can do and it's got tweet in the day in the back in the day all those years ago It was amazing to have tweeters and still almost unique. I think well, probably is unique now having the tweeters cleverly uh, Pointed outwards to give you a nice dispersion a nice Spread of sound and having tweeters back in the day. It was unusual for a speaker of this size and You know a budget price. It was always around 70 pounds 70 dollars depending on the deal at the time. And we thought, oh, that was good. There'll never be a better speaker than Soundcore Motion Plus. And do you know what? There was, do you know why? Because they made it in blue. They also made it in red. I'm not sure if they still do that. I did one time ask them for, can I have a red and blue Motion Plus? I'd like to show all my subscribers how pretty and how lovely it can look and still sound like the black one. And do you know what they said? Absolutely nothing, like most of them. It's a firmware update. So the reason the Motion Plus is on the table is because it's happened again. You're still using Alan Ross EQ. They're telling you that's Mr. Boomy Bass's EQ and you tell them, well, it's probably because you didn't watch the whole video where he talked about his EQ and it was never meant to be all volumes. And yes, bring that 150 hertz slider down. It can tame a whole lot of that boom. That's what you don't know. Don't, don't forget, everybody places it somewhere different. Out, doors, indoors, in corners, on floors. You know, areas where it will enhance the bass or indeed you'll lose the bass. It's based on a, nu a neutral environment. That don't get talked about much and probably because it's not very exciting. What is exciting is you use an Allen Ross EQ and it was okay on firmware 3939 and it just found out you can update your firmware. And it's gone to from 39, 39, not to 40, not to 41, not even 42. Am I asking 43, not even asking 44? We've gone to 45, and not even 45, we've gone to 45.49. I do love how they do these naming schemes. I mean, that's a big jump, isn't it? 39.39 to 45.9. There must be loads of things they have changed. So we've gone into their so-called change log, um, and back in the day, it used to tell you a million different things, and these days, we well, already know what I'm going to say. Do you know what, what, what they fixed? They fixed some more bugs. That's a hell of a lot of bugs. That's six worths of firmware update. Anyway, all you really want to know is, come on out. You can make a one second Instagram post go to 20 minutes. And not a lot of people can do that. You've got to give me credit. I can waffle. You, I can waffle with the best, best of them. I'm not going to do too much of that today. Although, according to my uh, thing, my jig, we're already four minutes in. And I haven't even told you anything. But what I will tell you is, I measured it before and after. It's not a frequency response measurement, it's a spectrum analysis of the actual tracks that I record before and after. Nothing moves, the mics do not move, the speakers do not move. Do the update and record it again. And that will tell me if there's anything has changed. And if anything has changed, I will play them, play those actual tracks back to you. But if, there, if I haven't, if there's nothing's changed, there would be no point. So 66% custom mode before and after. No change, it's getting so boring, I'm afraid. But here, the big news is, a bass up, before and after, 66% volume, no change, 100%, no change, no change, no change, no change, no change, no change. Inflation being what it is these days, if you go into the supermarket with 20 quid, you'll come out with no change. This has been the Alan Ross firmware update. Mr. Boomy Bass has struck again. <laughs> I don't think I'll wear this one again. It's all in my mouth, but anyway. There was a joke that, and I'm going I'm to make it. I don't want to get uh, chucked off YouTube. The Motion Plus has had a, a huge, in terms of numbers, upgrade, firmware, update, whatever you want to call it. And do you know what's happened? They fixed the bugs that nobody knows exist. I wonder if they've fixed it. Who knows? Who knows? We'd love to know. Has anything changed on your speaker? Come into the comics. Don't, oh, yeah, don't forget. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and it really helps the algorithm. Thank you very much. But there you go. If anything's changed, come on the comments. If it doesn't change, come on the comments. And there'll be someone who comes in and says, wow, they've upped the bass by five decibels. Someone else will say, you must be nuts. Oh, my speaker has gone down by five decibels. And that's what we love. Uh, the controversy 
of firmware updates. For me, no change. Thank you for watching. <laughs>